Yo, so why do dyslexics make better scientists and entrepreneurs than normal people? Yo, what up YouTube? My name is Nishantha. This video is about dynamic reasoning. It's one of the four cognitive gifts of having a dyslexic brain. Dynamic reasoning is the ability to predict future and uh, past events based on evidence from the present. Dynamic reasoning comes about because of the three other dyslexic strengths interacting with each other. So I made a separate video for each of the strengths. I'll link them in the description below. I go into details of the mechanism and the strengths and weaknesses of each thing. But here's a quick review of what they are. So the first one is M, which is material reasoning. Material reasoning allows dyslexics to manipulate objects and concepts inside their head and construct complete objects and ideas by combining different things together. The second uh, dyslexic strength is eye strength, interconnected reasoning. This strength allows dyslexics to connect disparate ideas together, come up with ways to put those ideas together in new ways, see what the interactions are like. This also allows dyslexics to extract the gist of an idea and to predict how that idea will interact with another idea. The third dyslexic strength is Narrative reasoning. Narrative reasoning is the ability uh, that dyslexics have to take their memories that are stored in um, episodic uh, memory and then take those memories and sequence them in such a way to help them solve problems. Now when these three different types of dyslexic strengths interact with each other, they create abilities to predict how certain things are. Now some of you guys have probably heard of like this idea of a gut feeling, right? Now dyslexics, if they have really strong these strengths or dynamic reasoning abilities, they have really strong gut feelings and they can reliably predict what's going to happen more than normal people. So their gut feelings are a lot stronger than normal people's basically. You know, another way to think about it is that they they have stronger instincts on certain things. So there's this uh, great idea called thinking fast and slow and uh, Daniel Kahneman kind of breaks his idea down of there's like two methods that our brains uh, use to process information and uh, the first one is to think really fast using heuristics the second one is to slow things down and really analyze things now, I think dyslexics rely more on you know especially if they have these really strong D strengths on um, instincts or really fast processing of information and they're able to be more accurate than um, like normal people. Now in Kahneman's book he talks about how you know this fast processing is really good in some situations but it could be really detrimental in other situations because you're prone to more errors and I think the way these strengths works in some dyslexics is that their error rate is a lot lower than normal people's. Now the reason why people with these strengths make really good scientists is because you know scientists have to take natural phenomenon and explain how that thing happens, right? And they have to use past events uh, to kind of figure that out. So they have to use their past experiences, past, uh, you know, former research and natural observations that they've done in the past to predict how uh, this phenomenon actually works in nature. So the reason why people with strong dynamic reasoning become strong entrepreneurs is because business and entrepreneurship is all about predicting the future and setting up the infrastructure to take advantage of the market that's going to be happening, right? It's a way to produce the most value for your future customers. It's the way that you can set up your business now so you can monetize what's going to be happening, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please uh, put them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. Um, all right, peace out. I love you guys. Bye. Hey guys. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you guys to subscribe. If you like this video, you can hit the like button to support the channel and let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Thanks again. See you next time.